Every day, ordinary people are given the opportunity to do extraordinary things. A chance to come together, share the love of God, go into all the nations, heed the Great Commission, put our faith in action, and change the world. At Bill Winston Ministries, we've been called to the nations and are committed daily to praying for you. Isaiah chapter 56, verse 7 reads, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. And here at our new Bill Winston Ministries Prayer Call Center, we believe in the power of prayer and the power of partnership. The new Bill Winston Ministries Prayer Call Center, one body of believers with a heart for God and a passion for people, ready to stand in faith and pray with you. I am DBS. My name is Olufemi Oladende. I'm the president of SDI Engineering here in Chicago. I migrated originally from Nigeria. I've always wanted to open my own business. I started hearing about JBS. Uh, it gave me much more confidence to go ahead and uh, make that move to open the business. Since I've graduated from Joseph Business School, the company is doing $1.5 million every year. If God being behind us, nothing is impossible. The Believer's Walk of Faith is paid for by Bill Winston Ministries partners and viewers. Up next on The Believer's Walk of Faith. Faith can do something a normal person cannot do. Man. It's a servant but is used to working for God. It's used to working for royalty. It is not used to working for a person with low self-esteem. You gotta see yourself as God sees you. He sees you through the blood of Jesus. He sees you walking perfect. Say amen to that. Hello, Bill Winston here, and welcome to the Believer's Walk of Faith, where we walk by faith and not by sight. Well, people tend to believe that if you got great mountain moving faith, you have to be an old saint. <laughs> you know, you know the expression, people have been around the church for 80 years. <laughs> Glory to God. Well, here's some good news for you. Faith will work for whosoever. As a matter of fact, you can be a 12-year-old who has developed their faith, and they can do more in the kingdom than a 50-year-old can do. That's the power of faith. Well, get your Bibles ready. Let's go into it. It's called Developing Mountain Moving Faith. God wants you to grow spiritually. Over in uh, Romans chapter 1 and verse 16, the Apostle Paul makes a statement, he said, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it's a power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live how? From faith, by faith. So it says, from faith to faith. So God fully expects us to be developed in faith. Um, in fact, there's a scripture over here and it's found in Luke's gospel, chapter 18, verse eight. And he says, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? I made a note to myself concerning that. And I said, it, what he's saying is that the challenges in the last days are gonna be so enormous that only those who have faith or are developed in the life of faith will find, be found standing. It's kind of interesting because things are starting to happen. Uh, tornadoes are coming out of any, every, I mean, just coming up, just all kinds of kind of strange weather patterns, um, terrorists running around, um, plagues in different places of the, of the world are coming up, pandemic things and it's just things that are happening in the last days. And so what God wants to do is he wants to make sure you're preserved. And so faith uh, gives you some assurance or that assurance that you're connected up with God and connected up with his ability and that God would in fact 
uh, you will be found standing. Praise God. Faith is not something that's an option that you should try and seek and you develop your faith um, every day. And it says here, you know, will he find faith in the earth? It didn't say, will he find love? <laughs> you know, and it, it said, will he find faith in the earth? So faith must be the catalyst for everything else happening. And so what we have to do is understand that that's the same thing about chemistry. You pour a catalyst in there. And once you do, it starts a reaction. It hooks two elements together or whatever have you. So faith is so essential. So I've just kept myself developing in my faith. I realize that my faith is my responsibility, that I need to develop my faith. Now, now I want you to see something here because I am not giving at the same level today that I gave three years ago. I'm giving at a whole nother level. Now, why is that? I, it's not so much that I'm trying to outgive somebody. What I'm trying to do is develop my faith. See, I, I want it so that I can fully embrace the, the, the teachings of Jesus that when I got born again, I got placed into the kingdom. And then when I got into the kingdom, he put me on assignment. And then when he put me on assignment, he wants me to see him as my paymaster. He does not want me to see you as my paymaster, the board as my paymaster. He doesn't want you to see that job as your paymaster. He wants you to see him. The Bible even says Jesus came to the servants that served him and said, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Now I'm going to make you what? Rule over much. Your promotion, the Bible says over in Psalm 75, doesn't even come from the people that you're working for. That's what it says. It says your promotion doesn't come from the east or from the west or from the south. It says, but God is a judge. He'll put down one and put up another. Say amen to that. So you don't need to be sniffing up behind anybody trying to get them to like, come on, come on. You, you, you see, he realizes that you've got to keep kingdom decorum. He, he realizes that you, you, have, you, you, have been, you have been sent here by God. You are now an ambassador. An ambassador is one who is a government official sent from one nation to another nation and that you are being tutored by the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost is tutoring you so that, that everything about you is, is reflecting a royalty. Oh, I'm, I'm going somewhere now. This is the Holy Ghost taking over now. It, it's reflecting of royalty. God meant for you to reflect a royal uh, priesthood, a royal uh, family. He, you, you are a part of a dynasty. You are a race of kings. You, you are, he, he even told, glory to God, let me get my Bible then. Look, look at Jesus. Watch what Jesus said. Look at Matthew's gospel, chapter 17. And when they were coming to Capernaum, they that received tribute, that's taxes, money came to Peter and said, does not your master pay tribute, pay taxes? And he said, yes. And when he was coming to the house, Jesus prevented him saying, what thinketh thou, Simon, of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute? Of their own children? are of strangers. I don't know whether you caught that or not. Of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute? Of their own children or of strangers? You, you think about this. First Peter chapter one, verse 23. Over in first Peter one twenty three, he says this, you're born not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, come on, by the word of God. In John chapter one, verse one, 
John 1 verse 1 says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So the word is God. And God, in, in Luke chapter 8, verse 11, and the Bible says that the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. So the word is seed, which is God, which gave you birth. Now, you know, and I know inside of that sperm that a woman receives in the womb, that inside of that is the DNA of that family line. You got the same DNA as God. Are you following what I'm saying? I'm, I'm saying an appreciation and embracing exactly who we are that we are offsprings of the king. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, why is this so important? Because 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1, talks about this Simon Peter, servant of the apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm obtaining the kind of faith that I need to move mountains through the righteousness of God. See, if, if I see myself in right standing with God, faith will flow through me like a flood. See, I don't need to work something up. I believe I receive, I believe I receive, I believe I receive. I, I, I hope I receive, I, I believe. That is not the way it is intended to work. Faith was all supposed to was supposed to be, I'm going to use a big word, instinctive. It would flow naturally. Why? Because you were designed to live by faith. Is it making sense to you? So it, it's not something that is a, um, uh, some kind of a, uh, of, 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 of fluke that, that people, some people have faith, some people don't. No, once you get born again, everybody has a measure of faith. Yes. You can put it down. Romans chapter 12, verse two, three is your reference for that. So everybody's got a measure of faith. Now I got to develop my faith. It's up to me. Yes. It's up to me. I mean, I started out believing God for a bow tie and I, I almost had to wait two years to get that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, let's look at it. Let's look at faith as a servant. Luke chapter 17, verse five. And the apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith. Now, what did he tell him to do? He told him, forgive folks to talk about him. Yeah. Now, I know that's a rough deal. I mean, I just finished reading something they're talking about me. Got it? So you're going to be able, if you're going to walk by faith to handle persecution. And you're going to see that if you are truly in faith, you won't get offended. But if you're in flesh, you're going to want to get revenge. All right, let's look at that. And the Lord said, if you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, you might say unto the sycamine tree, be thou plucked up by the root, be thou planted into the sea, and it should obey you. The Greek says it would obey you. Okay. Now, notice if you had faith as a seed, you'd say. Got it? Because they want to know how to increase the faith. I'm going to increase it by saying something. And people don't like to do all of this, but they want to live off of somebody who is doing it. And that's not right. Where is your faith? And it doesn't make any difference, folks. I was in school and here I was in school. I said, hey, I'm in, I'm in college. I said, but, you know, even in, in, in high school, I, I said, hey, I'm not supposed to be this broke. I had that much sense in high school. 
And so I, you know, got me some jobs and mowing lawns. And dad, if you buy me the lawnmower, I'll pay you back. And I'll get on there because, you know, he, he, he's strictly a businessman. He ain't giving away nothing. And, uh, and so, and I would do that, see. But you got something in your house. And now, now I'm only saying that because I'm, I'm just seeing that, wait a second, I don't need to live off of somebody. Not if I got faith. And what we've done, we've not taught faith. Faith has not been a heritage. We've not passed it down. We don't have kids. I mean, well, David was operating by faith. But we don't have kids. A lot of times there's kids are not operating by faith. But David came to me, uh, 12 years old, Dad, where are we going on vacation? I said, where you want to go, son? I'd like to go to Hawaii. I said, okay, fine. Believe God for your ticket. <laughs> I was done with it. I was done with it. And listen, didn't offend him at all. Went in that little piggy bank, said, saved that money and sold a seed and came back, said, Dad, I got my ticket all the way over there and halfway back. <laughs> now, I don't know how he's going to get back to that. But... <laughs> First class. He did that, 12 years old. What's up with you at 40? <laughs> at 80? I tell you what's up. You're not expecting to lose any. I'm telling you, when he returns, will he find faith? The challenges are going to get so enormous that if you don't have any faith, you better go find somebody that's got some. But the devil's stuff, he's getting busy in these last days because he knows his time is what? It's short. That's the Bible. He gets crazy, man. And I'm saying you can get faith and go into a neighborhood and, and, and bring it under kingdom jurisdiction. Amen. Say amen to that. Boy, that's powerful teaching right there. Oh, man, I was in college and I was broke. I said, hey, you supposed to be broke? All right, let me get me a singing group. <laughs> Dad, yeah, got a singing group. Can you play? Yeah, come on. Can you, how about you, can you sing? No, you can't sing. Can you sing? Yeah, you can sing. Come on. Put them together. Traveling from New York to Nassau. Playing Will Chamberlain's place. And, I mean, yes. Why? Don't supposed to be broke. My dad came down and, and, he looked, and, 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 and the roommate and I were rooming together off campus. And he said, he said, son, whose car is that out front? It was a, it was, it was a, it was a Corvette. Hey, whose car is that? I said, um, what? Whose car is that out front? <laughs> I said, sir, that's, um, uh, that's mine. <laughs> what? <laughs> you going to school, son? I said, yeah. Now, he ain't sending me no money. Hey, you're going to school. It'd be different if he was paying for it. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, <laughs> now, listen, I'm not coming down on my dad. Dad's a good person. That's why I'm up here. <laughs> you. <laughs> You going to school, son? I said, yeah, I know, Dad. Son, you you gonna get a car like that going to school? And he stormed out. Went on back to Atlanta. About three weeks later, he came back. Son, give me the keys. Let me take that around. The <laughs> he sure did. But let me tell you, faith can do something a normal person cannot do, man. It's a servant. But it's used to working for God. It's used to working for royalty. It is not used to working for a person with low self-esteem. It doesn't work for a person who's condemned. It doesn't work for a person who's guilty because they've been married five times. It doesn't work. It doesn't work for you. You're trying to get it to work. Can't get off of the dime. Can't make it work. Why? Because you got to see yourself as God sees you. He sees you through the blood of Jesus. He sees you walking perfect. Say amen to that. Man, if all of us had to be, I mean, straight up perfect, none of us would be here. There has to be some grace in that thing somewhere. Now, I'm not saying go out and act a fool, but I'm just saying, you know, God sees your growth. He sees you trying. He doesn't judge the outside. He judges the heart. 
Man, I'm telling you. But I was using my faith. I mean, even then, that was the kind of faith I had. Now, the kind of faith that I jumped into or got into when I got born again is the Abraham kind of faith. Now, put it up there. Romans chapter 4, verse 17. Are you with me? Yeah. See, the tendency to think that this just worked for old folk or <laughs> work, <laughs> work, work for somebody who, 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 you know, who's, you know, been going to church for, I don't know how long and so forth. No, 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 no. It works for whosoever. Whosoever shall say, who, whosoever, say amen. amen. And the reason why we call it mountain move, it, it'll do impossible things for you. As it's written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God, who quickened the dead and calls those things that be not as though they were. All right. Now, I want to say something about this. To walk by anything other than faith is... is foolish. And here's why. Because what you see is not the whole story. What you see is not all there is. If, if, if I... Let me just get something. If I take this uh, folder and hold it up, underneath is all what you see. Up here, you can't see it except by faith. Watch this. Up here, is more than what's down here. So if you don't walk by faith, you only get what you see. Isn't this wonderful? See, down here you may be sick, but what's up here? Health. What does faith do? Faith converts what you can't see into what you can see. That's why nothing's impossible for it. See, God never asks you to get rid of something. No. He said, as many as received him became sons of God. The, the blind man, he said this. He said, what can I do for you? The blind man said this that I might receive my sight. See, you don't have to get rid of poverty. Just receive wealth. Well, I trust that you are blessed by this powerful message now. Let me share with you a couple of points that you might want to remember. One is that every believer has been given the measure of faith, not a measure, the measure of faith. So it's up to us to take that measure and develop it. When I first started out, I couldn't hardly do anything by faith. <laughs> now I believe in God for shopping malls and airplanes <laughs> by faith. So your faith will increase more and more and more. Number two, faith is a servant of the believer. Now, when you have a servant, a servant works for you. And the faith is a servant, but it's used to working for royalty used to working for God. God created the universe by faith. Praise the Lord. But he's given that same faith to you so that you can develop faith. So what you want to do is make sure that righteousness is in your heart. Make sure that you're not dealing with low self-esteem or guilt or shame, condemnation, because if you do, the servant won't work. You need to stay in righteousness, understand that God has forgiven you, and now it's time to walk by faith. Well, this is Bill Winston saying, that's all we have for this time. We'll see you next time. Until then, keep walking by faith.
You may be struggling to make ends meet or troubled by circumstances beyond your control, but God has placed the power to change your life within you. It's called faith, and the only source of faith is the Word of God. For years, Dr. Winston has preached the Word of God that by faith you can change and transform your situation. Today is your time to tap into this anointing to release the life of abundance God has planned for you. Call us now at 1-800-711-9327 or go online to BillWinston.org to receive Dr. Winston's three-part teaching series, Developing Mountain Moving Faith. These lessons included on DVD or MP4, on CD or MP4, P3 are a master class on using your faith to bring about guaranteed victory. You can move mountains of lack, broken relationships, and bad health through a small amount of the right faith. This teaching shows you exactly how to develop the God type of faith you need to win in life. Want more material to grow your faith? Order the Mountain Moving Faith Bundle, which also includes Dr. Winston's best-selling book, Faith and the Marketplace. In this insightful, intelligent, thought-provoking book, you will be empowered to move into next-level faith and next-level living. If you are ready for change, if you are ready to remove the roadblocks in your life, then you don't want to miss this incredible offer. Offer. So call or go online now. Every day, ordinary people are given the opportunity to do extraordinary things. A chance to come together, share the love of God, go into all the nations, heed the Great Commission, put our faith in action, and change the world. At Bill Winston Ministries, we've been called to the nations and are committed daily to praying for you. Isaiah chapter 56, verse 7 reads, For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. And here at our new Bill Winston Ministries Prayer Call Center, we believe in the power of prayer and the power of partnership. The new Bill Winston Ministries Prayer Call Center, one body of believers with a heart for God and a passion for people, ready to stand in faith and pray with you. I am DBS. My name is Olufemi Oladende. I'm the president of SDI Engineering here in Chicago. I migrated originally from Nigeria. I've always wanted to open my own business. I started hearing about JBS. Uh, it gave me much more confidence to go ahead and uh, make that move to open the business. Since I've graduated from Joseph Business School, the company is doing $1.5 million every year. If God being behind us, nothing is impossible. The mission of Bill Winston Ministries is to preach the gospel of the kingdom throughout the world. We invite you to become a partner and join Dr. Bill Winston as he trains believers how to live independent of this world system and have dominion over it. The Believer's Walk of Faith is paid for by Bill Winston Ministries partners and viewers.